In this video, I'm going to create my very own photography gallery using images I captured in a recent trip to Harris and Lewis. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel or you're a regular visitor to my blog, you'll know that I've just recently returned from a week-long trip to the Isles of Harris and Lewis on the Outer Hebrides. It's rare that I get uh, so much time to really immerse myself in my landscape photography, but being there for a week really allowed me to explore the area and capture some amazing images, images that I'm really proud to share. And I've already been sharing many of those on social media. I also created a video of my adventure while I was there. And if you haven't seen that, please do check that out. I'll leave a link for that in the corner of the screen. And if you have watched it and you left me a comment, thank you so much. The response to that video has been absolutely amazing. But is that the end of those photographs? I've spent all that time, that money, that effort, that passion into creating those photographs. Are they now, now that they've been shared on social media, are they just gonna sit in my hard drive on some digital archive? That seems a bit of a shame. So in this video, I'm going to extend my Harris and Lewis adventure by creating prints of my, some of my favorite images that I took on that trip. For me, printing is a natural part of the photography process. In fact, it's almost as exciting as actually going out and taking the pictures itself. I love putting some paper in the printer and watching the printer feed it out gradually until I've taken something that's digital and I've created something that's physical. Something that I can hold in my hand, something tactile, something that I can really look at and appreciate. For my home gallery, I'll take five of my favorite images for that trip, print them, mount them, and put them on the wall. During the video, I'll talk a lot about paper choice, show you how I put them into frames, and then how I take those frames and put them on the wall. Just before we get started, just a couple of things that aren't gonna be in this video. I'm not gonna talk about my post-processing technique or some of the steps actually required in Lightroom or, or Photoshop to do the actual print itself. And I'm not gonna talk about custom ICC profiles and monitor calibration. Now, the reason I'm not talking about all those is because I've already done videos on those topics already. So if you're interested in any of those videos, um, there's a blog article to go with this particular video, and you'll find a link for that in the video description below and at the end screen of this video. And in that blog article, I've got links to all those videos that cover things like calibration, ICC profiles, printing, and post-processing. Okay, let's start by talking about paper choice first. I'm gonna be using papers from a company called Photospeed, specifically from their platinum range of papers. Now I've been using Photospeed papers for some time now. I've got quite a lot of their test packs, and that's been a great way for me to experiment with different paper types without investing in a full box of paper. And that's allowed me to kind of figure out which paper types will suit certain styles of photographs or just the types of print that I might want to make. For this video, I'm like I said, I'm gonna use their platinum range of papers. I'm gonna use three different paper types in that range. That's gonna be platinum etching, which is a textured matte paper. I'm gonna use platinum cotton, which is a smooth matte paper. And finally, I'm gonna be using platinum barter, which is a smooth glossy paper. I hope I got the pronunciation for that last one right. And this is gonna give me a, a decent range of different types of paper to go with different types of images. And I'll explain the different qualities of those paper as I go to print each image. To help me display the images, I'm gonna be mounting them in frames. I got the frames from a company called Picture Frames Express. I'm using a combination of frames that I've ordered specifically for this uh, gallery and ones that I already got um, that I'd used for previous images. And for the final bit of kit, it's how I'm gonna display those frame pictures on the wall. So rather than me put nails in the wall with hooks, I'm gonna use some picture ledges from Ikea. Now these are just kind of thin white shelves and they've got a little groove through the middle of them. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to put those framed pictures or you can actually just put the prints in. That's what the, the little notch is through the middle. You can set a print uh, along the ledge, but it allows me to move stuff about. So depending on whether I've got a lot of A4 prints or a couple of A3 prints or panoramic prints, just gives me lots of flexibility for moving stuff about and changing the order without having the additional complication and overhead of having to move hooks about. So if you want to check any of these products out, the paper, the frames, or the ledges, um, I'll include links for all those products over my blog article that I mentioned earlier. Remember, there's a link for that in the video description below and at the end screen of this video. Okay, with that all said, it's time to power on the printer, open a box of paper, put on the white gloves, load a sheet of paper, and hit print. 
Okay, for my first paper, I'm going to be using Platinum Etching 285, which you can see in the box here behind me. Like all photo speed papers, it comes in a box, which not only protects the paper, but for me, makes it a bit more of an experience. I like going to select a box, opening up, getting to take a bit of uh, paper out, loading it into the printer. It just feels a bit, it makes you feel like you're a bit more connected to the entire process. Let's take a closer look at the paper. So this is Platinum Etching 285, as I said. It's a fine art matte paper. So you've got all the qualities of a good high quality matte paper, but the slight difference with this one is um, it's got a nice velvety texture to it, very subtle. But what that does is it gives you a kind of nice painterly feel about your images when they're printed off. So I've selected two images to print off in this paper. The first one is of a stack of frisks, which I took on the Isle of Lewis. And the second one is from the Isle of Harris, which is a kind of stormy beach. But this is a panoramic image, so I've also got some sheets of panoramic paper in this paper type. So um, I think these images will suit that kind of textured, painterly feel that I'm going to get from that paper. So why don't we load up some sheets and hit the print button. first two prints and here we have the panoramic image I really, really like this and I actually really enjoy printing panoramic images you have to wait a little bit longer for them to come out of the printer as they feed out but that kind of builds the excitement until it finally comes out and you're left with an image like this this particular image I think has suited the matte paper particularly well and its textured qualities as well if you have a close-up look here it really suits the kind of stormy weather and just the kind of mood I was trying to create with this particular image. About there. And then we've got this image um, of uh, Stackerfriss here, which I also printed off in the same paper. Again, taking some benefits of, of the matte paper, but also that kind of painterly quality you get from the, the texture. Um, I think it really suits these two particular types of images. I, the, for me, they're not, they're not glossy images, definitely a matte paper, but and I think that texture just adds a, a little bit extra. And also, you know, even though I'm, I'm holding this in my hand, it will eventually end up in a frame. I quite like the feel of it. Um, and it just feels like a nice, it feels like a proper piece of artwork. Right, for the next paper, I'm gonna be using Platinum Barter 300 here. And I've got two different packs of this paper. I've got an A3 Plus pack and an A4 pack. It's a fine art, glossy paper. And for me, I'm using this paper to print bright, bold, saturated images or images that have got lots of drama and color. Uh, and I just want to make them pop. So for the two images, uh, both from Luskin Tire Beach, the first one I'm going to print A4, which is this one looking northwards from the dunes onto the mountains. And then I'll make an A3 plus print of this image here, which is looking in the opposite direction, but I've got that sunrise. So there's plenty of detail there right from the foreground all the way to the sunrise and the houses in the background. And I think this Blatt and Barter paper will really make those images pop and stand out. Right, so we've got our two images here on the glossy paper. So I've got the first one here of the uh, dunes here looking north. And I really like the way that this has come out. I've got some these nice saturation here and the greens of the grass and the blue here of the sea. It's just a really nice image. And it, it's, the paper has really made it kind of made it pop. And I've got that nice little bit of a reflection there from the glossy paper. And then I've got my A3 plus print here, um, again, of the, of the dunes, but looking north towards the sunrise and all the colors here are really well saturated and um, just kind of made it a nice bold image. And I really like obviously the size of the paper as well. And I think this image is gonna look great in the frame. Okay, for my final print, I'm gonna be using Platinum Cotton 305, which is a fine art matte paper. Now, I've got an A3 plus uh, sheet of it here. Unlike the uh, Platinum Etching, it doesn't have a textured surface, so it's just a smooth matte surface. Uh, and unlike the Platinum Beata, it doesn't have that kind of glossy effect. So I'm going to print off an image I took at Luskin Tire Beach again. This one was a long exposure image taken again around sort of sunrise time. 
and there was some beautiful light in the sky, beautiful colors, and the long exposure has kind of created this kind of pastel tones throughout the water and throughout the sky. And I think that image will suit a matte paper really, really well. So I'm really excited about making this particular print, especially again with the large size. So why don't we get the paper in the printer and hit the print button. So we've got our last print here. We've got the Platinum Cotton 305 and my long exposure of Luskentire Beach here. And I think this paper has been a great choice for this image. I've got the really nice graduated tones and colors that they go from the sand here out to the sea, up into the sky. It really suits this image well. Everything's come out beautifully. Like I say, from the, the kind of graduated tones here and even there's still a lot of detail there in the distant mountains. An image that I can't wait to get into a frame. Right, so we got all our prints created and we're just about ready to put them into the frames and then onto the wall so we can create a home gallery. I really enjoyed uh, the printing process, I have to say. It was great getting all these uh, different types of paper from PhotoSpeed, opening up the box, selecting a bit of paper, putting it in the printer and watching one of my digital photographs come to life in the form of a physical print. But now we need to put them into the frames and get them onto the wall and create our home gallery. So the process of getting our prints into frames is relatively straightforward. So here I've got one of my A4 frames, which I got from Picture Frames Express. It's a relatively straightforward process. I just take these clips off and remove the backing and then put the print inside the frame here. Uh, on this one, I've got a white 20 millimeter border around here along with the black wood frame. I've got two of these and two A3 plus frames of a similar specification. And I've also got a panoramic frame. Uh, the only difference with the panoramic frame is it doesn't have the white border. Um, but I'm gonna get these into the frame, we'll get them onto the wall, uh, and we'll see what it all looks like. So there we have it, my Harris and Lewis photography gallery. For me, those images deserve so much more than just to sit on a hard drive in a digital archive. Up there, I can appreciate them. And even if I'm the only one that ever sees this gallery, it will at least remind me of my adventure and perhaps inspire me to take more photographs. Now, you may be looking at that gallery and thinking, well, I could have just sent the images away to Print Lab and had them all printed and framed and sent back to me. But for me, that's kind of missing some of the pleasure and some of the excitement of doing it all at my home. I really enjoyed using those PhotoSpeed Platinum papers and it's a great deal of satisfaction knowing that I did everything, that I captured, I traveled to these locations, I captured those images, I processed them, I printed them, I framed them and I put them on the wall and I got my own gallery. Just wanted to do it myself. I really do hope this video has inspired you to do a little bit of printing at home. Even if you just print one image or a few to make a gallery like this, Take pride and pleasure in your images and hit that print button. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider hitting that like button. And of course, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you did like this content and perhaps you want to see a bit more from me, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, or if you're already a subscriber, remember to click on that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification when I post up a new video. But until then, I'll see you later.